Now, on to Big Damone. Oh, Big Damone, we're going to talk about you, sweetheart. <laughs> we sure are. We're going to talk about you, Big Damone. Now, Vic, for you to even bring your lanky ass up in the middle of this and get involved, I would have thought real long and hard. I would have thought real long and hard about getting yourself involved in this victim on. I was at your house, okay? I was at your house, Vic. Now, when people were asking me about your house, did I talk about your house? No. When they were asking me about your wife, what did I say? I said, you had a lovely wife. You had a lovely wife. That's what I said, right, Vic? And that's true. Your wife was lovely. She was very nice. A very nice woman. But while you want to talk about people, Vic, <laughs> you might have wanted to rethink who the fuck you were talking about. Where should I start, Vic Damone? I don't really want to roast your wife because she is a nice woman. She was very friendly. She was very nice. And I don't even really want to cook you, Vic, because we didn't have any bad blood. But apparently that doesn't mean shit to you because you want to jump your ass on L.A.'s dick and get involved. Vic, your house is falling the fuck apart. That thing is caving in. It is literally caving the fuck in. And I get it. It's your home. It's the only thing you can afford. I understand. But sweetheart, maybe you could stop your house from caving in if you move the family of gophers out. There were these gigantic, oh my God, these things were fucking humongous. When we first saw one, it was across the street in a yard, and Tiffany and I were trying to figure out what the fuck it was. It was huge. I thought, it, I thought at first maybe it was a cat. And then we kept looking, and we're like, oh, no, that ain't no cat. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that ginormous rodent across the street from Vic's house? So, me being me... I start to walk across the street to go see if I could figure out what the fuck it was. Well, when I did that, a motorcycle came by or no, no, no. It was a man. It was a man on a bicycle who had a Bluetooth speaker duct taped to the front of his bicycle blaring music. And it scared the creature away and the creature ran off. So I was like, damn, because I really wanted to try to get a picture to try to figure out what the fuck this ginormous. Ro when I say ginormous, this thing was about five times. Five times the size of a raccoon. Man, fuck that struggle throat, stroke face bitch. Don't nobody give a fuck about her and her smoking her friendly friends. She just a friendly friend right now. When her shipment of friendly friends comes in, she won't be on live. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm trying to get a picture of this ginormous rodent trying to figure out what the fuck this thing is that she's in the neighborhood, right? Well, I missed the picture because the thing ran off. So I come back across the street. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, y'all. But anyway, so, like I was saying, I took a picture of this big, ginormous rodent because I wanted to find out what the fuck it is. These big, ginormous rodents that are hanging around in uh, his neighborhood. And um, I missed the picture, right? So, later on throughout visiting with Vic Simone, Vic Simone is giving Tiffany and I a tour of... Um, of his, of his, you know, like the outside of his house and whatever. And as we're walking around towards the backyard, and, and Vic is, let, let me let me clarify, Vic is really trying hard. He's trying the hardest that he can to put some work into his house. So he's showing us the backyard, which the backyard is, is, a, is a great space. I'm not afraid of Lamar, Elsie. Hold on. It's a great space back there. It's very shaded. It's a great place for little barbecues, little gatherings, whatever. So he's trying to tell Tiffany and I, like, his plans for his backyard. And I look over, and I notice in the foundation of his house, there's, like, this giant hole. 
there's like this ginormous hole. And they had tried to put a rock over that hole. But um, he explained that there's like gophers that are like constantly getting in under his house. And so that's when it hit me. Those big ginormous rodents or gophers, those things are fucking humongous. Those things are fucking ginormous. He's got like a family of gophers that are living under his fucking house. So it then I realized like why his house is like sinking and falling apart. The gophers are tearing that man's shit up. I don't know. I don't, gophers or groundhogs? That's a good question. I don't know. What's the difference? They were like ginormous things. They were ginormous fucking things. And like they live in Vic's house. So LA should be really asking Vic, like, yo, why aren't them gophers paying rent? <laughs> why aren't them gophers paying rent, Vic? <laughs> I'm surprised LA didn't ask him. Vic doesn't smell like anything bad. Vic doesn't smell bad at all. No. Like, I can't really say, like, a whole lot of horrible shit about Vic. Vic doesn't smell, you know, it's not like that. Vic don't even paint. <laughs> but I'm surprised, like, L.A. didn't ask and the gophers wasn't paying rent. I mean, fuck, Vic put a big-ass rock over the hole trying to keep them things out from underneath his house. Them bastards are so bold. No, I swear to God, Captain, say myself, this is on life. Ask Vic. Vic put a rock over this gigantic hole in his foundation where these gophers or groundhogs or whatever, these ginormous fucking rodents. And when I say ginormous, these motherfuckers, they're huge, okay? They probably tell Snowflake and Baby to kiss their motherfucking ass. They're going to live there regardless. So Vic was like, yeah, I put this rock there trying to keep them out, and they keep moving it and coming back because them gophers are like, fuck you, Vic Damone. You, can't, you ain't evicting us. <laughs> Everything Vic has done to try to keep these things out of the foundation of his house, they say, fuck Vic Damone, they move right the fuck back in. I don't know. I'd have to look him up, to be honest with you, short lady Lily. These motherfuckers is huge. When I say, listen, them motherfuckers is huge. Huge. Like, when I first saw it, I really thought it was like a big-ass cat. But no, it's some kind of a rodent. I don't know. You should ask Vic. Vic knows what they are. No, the dogs were outside while we were there. No, no, no. But Vic can tell you what they are because um, he told me what they were. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Uh, he told me what they were. And I can't remember. He might have said groundhogs, groundhogs, gophers, some shit like that. I don't know. But whatever they are, they live up under Vic's house. <laughs> they are. They're No, they're not raccoons. I know what raccoons look like. We have raccoons out here. Man, Blue, stop all that shit. I gives no fuck. He should not have gotten involved in this shit. He should have just sat back in the cut like he was doing from the beginning. Okay? He had no business trying to jump up in here trying to talk shit. None. None. When you live the like how the fuck he lives, you ain't got no business jumping up in here trying to talk no shit on nobody. Okay? On nobody. I'm about to Google some pictures. I'll tell you what they are, y'all. That's what I I don't know, but these motherfuckers were so big. I was like, God damn. And whenever he listen, whenever he told me that they moved the rock out the way and moved back in, I was like, I'm leaving. Those are some big motherfuckers. <laughs> Those things are huge. Let me see. Oh, yep. Hold up. They could. It was. It might have been a groundhog. Yep. It's a rodent. See, I told y'all it's a fucking rodent. A woodchuck, a groundhog, also known as a a groundhog, also known as wood, is a rodent. He's got giant rodents living up under his house. A gopher, let me look at the gopher. Oh, the gopher was the smaller one. He, there are two of them then. Because the gopher was, man, I don't know. Vic can tell you. Ask Vic. He'll tell you what the fuck it is. 
But whatever it is, and they moved into the foundation of his house and set a camp. And they're not going nowhere. They're not going nowhere. Because everything that Vic has done to try to stop them, they keep coming the fuck back. I'm telling you, they look at him like, fuck you, Vic Damone. We moving in. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay. Vic Damone. I know you wasn't trying to clown by saying I was dressed like a soccer mom. I know you wasn't trying to clown saying I was dressed like a soccer mom. First of all, first of all, I'll be 40 years old in a couple of weeks. Yes, I will. I am a mother. I'm sorry I don't dress like a 21-year-old whore. I'm sorry I don't dress like a 40-year-old whore. I'm sorry I don't dress like none of that. I dress like me. I have said many times that I am not a dress and heels kind of female. I am a jeans and boots. I am country. I'm fucking country. I don't dress like that bullshit. And for someone to talk about the way a woman was dressed and what her wardrobe looks like, sweetheart, your wife was le was dressed less than anything I've ever seen in my life. So let's not talk about a way a woman dresses, Vic. Let's not talk about the way a woman dresses, honey. Because like I said, your wife is a very nice woman. She was a very nice woman. And I really would hate to go there, Vic. I would really fucking hate to take it there. But you keep talking and you're going to make me take it there, Vic Damone. With the raggedy ass flannel you had on. And you got the nerve. You got the, at least, at least L.A. went and got his motherfucking hair cut. You ain't even done that shit. Had her nipples all in my motherfucking face. Bitch up here looking like Pippin Long Titties coming into your town. Look at them titties, they dragging down to the ground. Pippin Long Titties coming into your town. Look at them titties, they dragging down to the ground. But I'm telling you, y'all don't listen, you don't want to fucking take it there with me. Y'all can say whatever the fuck you want to. You can say whatever you want to, but you can't get mad at the clapback. You cannot get mad at the clapback, Big Damone. You can't. You can only wish that your wife was dressed like me that day, Vic. Can't believe you had the nerve to fucking introduce her to company looking like that. She's a very nice woman. She was a very nice woman. And I really don't want to have to throw her on the grill. But Vic, you need to watch your words, homie. Oh, well, maybe if she wasn't dressed like a soccer mom. <laughs> I'm a mother, dude. I'm a fucking mother. I'm sorry. I don't walk around dressed like a fucking whore every day of my life. I just don't do that. And what the fuck was I supposed to dress to impress in fucking Michigan? I mean, for real. Why would Vic Damone even want to get up in this any goddamn way? Not the way he was looking. Not the way she was looking. Not the way them gophers and them groundhogs is doing his motherfucking house. I'm telling y'all. Them fucking groundhogs gonna get Vic Vic. They're gonna tell Vic and his family to pack up and move the fuck on up out of there. That's their house. They don't take no shit from Vic. <laughs> he kick them out and they come right the fuck back. Man, that's a toss-up case because let me tell you. Vic, Vic did take the carpet out of his house. So, like, when you walk in, the living room is all hardwood floors. But there is still carpet, like, in the dining area. So, that, that's a tough question right there. <laughs> 